If you're new to programming and uh, Macaulay is your first programming language, you might be wondering what is the difference between a mutable list and a regular list. Now, they both pretty much hold things. So they hold things in that, I'll show you right here, a list of, um, uh, you know, we have, we have some numbers, right? Let me recreate a list of that. List of, we just put in, um, you know, ints. We're just going to put in a whole bunch of ints. Let's say we have one, two, three, and four. We need that. And we can, you know, um, we can do a for loop over them and we can uh, print them out pretty much. Same thing, you know, we, um, we can do that um, with, we can do that with a, a mutable, the same thing. Just actually copy this. Be a lot easier. Mutable, mutable numbers, mutable numbers. There we go, and we'll change this. Mutable numbers. There we go. Now they both do the same thing. They they both carry stuff. Uh, the regular list carries one through four, and the mutable list carries one through four. I actually, forgot the changes to a mutable list. There we go. Now they, they do the, the, um, uh, the same thing, the same exact thing with printing out things. Those are the same exact thing between a list and a mutable list. But a mutable list, we're able to change things and add things. So a mutable list, we can add, we can add to the end of that five and there'll be another, another number there. With numbers, we can't, we can't add anything. Um, what we, create during our object creation is what we have we can't change that we can only get things from that um it's pretty much you know like a permanent list we can't add or anything like that um can't remove we can just get things so we can get index one we can do that same thing with the mutable list but mutable list we can add we can delete we can move we can do everything the mutable list is mutable which mutable meaning it's mutatable pretty much. You can change it, you can chop it in half, you can um, rip it apart, you, um, you can move the four to the one, you can, um, you can just, it's like, it's like um, a Play-Doh, you can just um, mush it around, you, you can make it into anything, and a regular list is immutable, so it's pretty much like, like a brick. You can't break it or anything with your hand, you can't, um, uh, how you have the brick made, so how you create the object is how it is. It can't be changed. It's like that permanently. Uh, the only way to get rid of it is to get rid of the entire object um, by just like throwing it out or you know changing it like in that or something. We, for example, you know, just for um, uh, for example for that, you can just change it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, uh, to recap, a mutable list, we're able to add, delete, and update to whatever we want in our list with a, li with a regular list over here. Whatever we, cre whatever we create at the object creation, so in this field, that's what we're stuck with. We can't change it. Uh, so a regular list is something that you have that you don't want to delete, create, run, I'm um, going um, remove, I mean not run, create, remove, delete, update, if you don't need any of those, create a list, um, um, I think it has less memory or something, and a mutable list, you can create, remove, delete, update, whatever you want. So you would do a mutable list whenever, you know, for, um, uh, for example, you uh, in an Android app or something, you have a list of of um, notes, for example. You have notes, and if you have notes, you know, for example, you have a little note there, you can put in a title, a, a description. You create a mutable list because you can create the notes, but you can, on the fly, you can delete them, update them with a list. Anytime you want to put in a new note, um, you have to delete all the all the notes and then put in another one. A mutable list is better that way.